In this video, we will be discussing about the chromatography. We know it is a physical method for separation of compounds. We see it involves physical process where the components of a sample mixture are separated as a result of their differential distribution between stationary and mobile phase. In order to understand the chromatography, we have three important terms to remember. Stationary phase, mobile phase and analyte. The stationary phase is fixed in place either in a column or in a planar surface, for example silica. Then we have the mobile phase, a phase that moves over or through the stationary phase, carrying with it the analyte mixture, like it can be gas or liquid. And finally we have the analyte, the substance to be separated during the chromatography. Now let's get to the classification of chromatography. We mostly classify on the basis of nature of mobile phase, nature of stationary phase, mechanism of separation and technique. And on the extreme right, we'll be having the name of chromatographic method. First, we see the nature of mobile phase. Here it is classified into gas chromatography and liquid chromatography. Let's discuss the gas chromatography first. The gas chromatography is classified into liquid and solid chromatography on the basis of nature of stationary phase. And on the basis of mechanism of separation, the liquid chromatography is classified into partition chromatography. And then on the basis of technique, it's classified into column chromatography. And this kind of chromatography is named as gas liquid chromatography. Now moving towards the solid chromatography which is classified into adsorption chromatography on the basis of mechanism of separation. And further technically it's classified into column chromatography, which is named as gas solid chromatography. Now let's move towards the liquid chromatography on the basis of nature of mobile phase. First on the basis of nature of stationary phase, we have liquid chromatography, bonded liquid chromatography and solid chromatography. The first one that's liquid chromatography is classified into partition chromatography on the basis of mechanism of separation and technically it is divided into column and planar chromatography shown in the diagram. We see the column technique method under liquid chromatography is termed as classic liquid liquid chromatography and the planar technique method under liquid chromatography is termed as thin layer chromatography or simply TLC. Second one under stationary phase is bonded liquid chromatography, which on the basis of separation is classified into modified partition chromatography and technically it's classified into column and planar as usual. The column one is named as HPLC that's high performance liquid chromatography and the planar one is named as HPTLC that's high performance thin layer chromatography. Now getting to solid stationary phase which is classified into adsorption chromatography on the basis of mechanism of separation and further classified technically into column and planar. In column chromatography, it is named as classical liquid solid chromatography and HPLC. Whereas in planar technique, we have three common methods that's TLC, HPLC and PC that is paper chromatography. Then we have second class arising from stationary phase of solid chromatography, which is ion exchange. And technically it's classified into column chromatography. And this method is termed as IEC, that's ion exchange chromatography. And the last class arising from stationary phase of solid chromatography is the exclusion chromatography, under the nature of mechanism of separation which is technically classified into column chromatography. And we have two methods in that, EC that's exclusion chromatography and GPC that's gel permeation chromatography. So this is what chromatography is and its classification in detail. I hope you like the video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up, do consider supporting my work on Patreon or YouTube and make sure to subscribe to the channel. Thanks.